Hey everybody, today I'll be looking at the Tapo Mini Smart Wi-Fi Plug Energy Monitoring, Tapo P11M. And this one has matter support. This is actually my third Tapo uh, Smart Plug um, and my first matter device. So I'm keen to check out matter and see if I can get it working with Home Assistant. Um, so this one's pretty cool because it also monitors the energy usage. Um, so things like heaters and things, you can track that. So let's get it open and take a look and see what we've got inside. Okay, so this is what we have in the box. We get our warranty, a quick start guide, and a Matter FAQ. Uh, there's also a Matter QR code on the uh, side of this. I, I don't know if I should show that, uh, so I'm not going to. But I assume uh, I use that to pair everything. So I'm going to get started and uh, plug it in. Okay, so I've plugged it in, and I guess uh, it says I can use any Matter-enabled app to pair it. So I'll go try out a few apps and see if I can get this thing paired to my network without using the Tapo app. Okay, so I'm going to navigate to the Matter devices on my S22 Ultra and now scan the QR code. Now it prompts us for what Matter app we want to use. I'm going to use Home Assistant, but you might want to use Google Home in this case. And it takes a little bit of time, but it connects to the device, and then eventually it sets up Matter credentials, and then finally it starts connecting the device to your Wi-Fi network. Um, this actually took a few times. Um, you want to be on the same network uh, that you want the Matter device to be on, because that's the one that's going to join. Um, and make sure it's uh, 2G, not 5G, at least in this case. It couldn't find my 5G access point. All right. Uh, we're all done, and now we're going to add it to Home Assistant. So here we go. All right, it's added to Home Assistant, and it's loading, and there is my Home Assistant, which I'm going to blur out again, and we're going to see if we can find the device. Unfortunately, the power usage uh, is not here, so I'm going to have to add the device to uh, Tapo anyway, but I can turn it on and off, so I guess that's good. Okay, so I ended up adding to Tapo anyway, but it was already on the network, so it was super duper easy to add to Tapo. So that was easy. Okay, so I went through the process of adding the device to Home Assistant via Tapo. Um, however, now there's a new interesting problem. The device shows up twice, once as a matter uh, device switch, and then again as a switch via Tapo, and the usage information via Tapo. So what I ended up doing is, uh, I ended up disabling the switch in Tapo, and just using Matter for that and keeping the statistics information coming from Tapo. So it's a bit of both Matter and Tapo, not perfect, but it does uh, do a good job. And there's also a manual on off if you want to do that. Uh, so there you have it. That is the Tapo Smart Plug with Matter. Um, overall, the Matter support is quite cool. I like that I can configure it out without the Tapo app. But I am disappointed that some of the metrics are not showing up in Home Assistant. So maybe that can be fixed in the future. It is in beta after all. And it's a little bit weird that the Tapo device um, is being detected as two separate devices. There's the Tapo instance and the Matter instance. Usually Home Assistant kind of figures out that they're the same thing. But eh, there you go. Anyway, that's it. It's pretty cool. It comes in about 30 AUD. You can get it cheaper without matter. The matter, the one without matter is only 20 bucks. So I'll see you in the next one and take care. Bye.